Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you three ways to use stacked gradients on your site. We have stacked linear gradients, stacked radial gradients, and stacking gradients with photos. So let's get into it. So I'm here in my HTML and you'll see there's not really much to speak of, just three divs with the class of gradient, and then they each have a separate identifier class describing the type of gradient they're going to get. So we can now kick off creating our amazing stacked gradients. And the first thing we need to do is find the colors for that. There are various color palette generators out there on the web. I'm using this one from Canva. And I actually like these three colors here. So I'm going to go for that. Now, most of the color palette generators I found give you the colors in hex, but we're going to be using RGBA. So we need to convert them. And there are plenty of tools to do that on the web as well. I'm using this one. So I'm just going to go in and grab the RGBA colors that I want to use. And I'm just going to save them as comments at the bottom of my CSS. So now I have those, we can start making our amazing stacked gradient effect. And to create the stacked effect, we actually need to create a separate gradient for each of these colors containing the color we want to show and another color onto which we'll add the opacity of zero, which is a bit hard to understand in the abstract. So I'll demonstrate that right now. We kick off by adding the background and then we want linear gradient. Now you can choose basically any direction you want here. I'm going to put 200 degrees and then copy in my first RGBA color. So that's our nice pink. But to make sure they all stack together nicely, we don't want them to be completely opaque. So I'm going to add opacity 0.8. And then I'm going to add the same RGB color again, but this time with opacity of zero. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, beautiful. We now have one layer of our stacked gradient in there. You could also, to make it a bit simpler, just do transparent. So now to stack them, we add a comma, copy the line down, and then we're going to add in our second RGB code. But we want to keep RGBA and 0.8 as they are. So we only really need the three numbers. So put that in and don't forget to change as well the number of degrees you've got at the beginning. Otherwise it would just go over the top of the one you've already put in. So for simplicity's sake, I will go for 100. Let's see what that looks like. Yay, <laughs> woo woo woo. Okay, so now I can move on to adding my third one. Not forgetting to change my number of degrees. Let's give that one 300. Oh, and this is the final one. So we're gonna semicolon that bad boy. Yeah, so there we have our three stacked gradients on top of each other, looking stunning if I say so myself. And for the stacked radial gradient, it's a very similar process. You set up your background. You want that to go for a radial gradient and you've got the choice between circle or ellipse for the shape. I'm going to go circle. And now you want to declare the position. So I'm going to go for at center for the first one. And then it's time to put in my color. So I can just copy the RGBA from up here because once again, I want it to be 0.8 opacity or at least less than one. And then I'm going to use transparent as the other color in the gradient, I guess. Let's see what that looks like. Wow, I love it. Rosy pink. So that's our first gradient in, and we just need to repeat this process with the other colors that we want to use. So grabbing our RGBA 160231299.8, and don't forget to select a different position. Just like we had different degrees for the linear gradients, we want to have a different position so that we can actually see the different colors we are adding. So there we have our blue coming on in. So now I can add my final color, which is my minty green. I might actually swap that for top. Yes, there we go. So that is how you create a stacked radial gradient. And the final thing I'm going to show you is how to add a gradient on top of a photo. And that is probably the simplest one of all. So we first add our photo. I have this in there already. It's a travel pic I took a few years ago. Manarola in Italy. So that is URL 
Manamola.jpg. So let's check that out. Here we go, lovely Italian town. And then to add the gradient, we just want to put it before the URL to the image. You can do linear or radial. I'll go for linear, gradient, to right, and then basically grab these. So we're going from the pinky color to transparent. And hopefully that will do the trick. Yes, it does. Just remember to have an opacity less than one. Actually, I think I prefer that to left. Okay, yes, so that's it for this video. Three ways to stack gradients to make cool effects on your site. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.